All right, here there, guys. Uh, my loyal subscribers, uh, specifically. And although I never, you know, give a plug to my channel, you know, if you've never subscribed, please subscribe, because if you love transportation, old and modern, well, you're going to come to the right place. Anyway, I thought uh, since we are in the uh, fucking goddamn dead of winter, where it's so goddamn cold, I can't go out and really film anything without freezing my balls off, or fingers, or toes, and whatnot, I figured it was a good time to show my collection. See, just to give you an idea how goddamn cold it is, look how frozen my window is. You see? On the third floor of my apartment. So, I put together all my bus models uh, for you guys to, to enjoy, to look at, since I'm very proud of my little collection. And uh, I'm going to go one by one here, giving you the tour. And yep, there's a lot of corgis. They're my favorite, just like so many of you guys out there. I remember the first time I saw these buses, <clears throat> these models, was at a, a shop I used to buy uh, uh, plastic model kits from. And the guy was out of business. And actually, I just found out the other day, actually, that the guy was connected to the Hells, Hells Angels, which didn't surprise me because the guy was a prick. He even looked like an asshole, too. Anyway, so that's probably why it was, you know, shut down or that or he had some sort of a... Uh, you know, backdoor business going on with that. So, anyway, let's get started. I'm going to come down here a little bit closer. Right on the floor here for the coffee table. Get a nice, better view. All right. So, here we have Baltimore Transit New Look. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah, this is better. Nice, better, better angle. Now, when you're photographing or filming, you know, things this small, it's better to use a manual focus because the camera has a hard time to focus on smaller objects. Now, off the bat, I should also mention to you that, aside from the fact that I bought most of these things on eBay, I never put the mirrors on the buses because they're made of plastic and they're so small they fucking break really easily, so there's no point, I find. Look at the beautiful detail. These models were produced in the late 90s, right? So let's move this guy along. There we go. And up next, I saw one of these for real when I was in Santa Monica at their uh, garage. It was hiding. It was being placed away uh, almost as if nobody could see it, you know, at the corner of a yard. I wanted to get in there, but you know, there's a security guard, and this is the post 9-11 years, you can't go fucking in anywhere, that's for sure. Too bad about this one, the, um, the side marker light's missing here. You know, I moved around a few times since I bought these. I bought uh, most of these Corgis uh, about 2006, so they were around, somewhere around 50 bucks each. Yeah. Sound effects are free of charge. Eh? All right, so now we move on to Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland, a place that I've driven by twice but never been to. Yeah, look at that. Hey, let's do it like this. Actually, it's just easier not to hold a goddamn camera and have you looking at a shaking image all the time. Yeah, beautiful bus. Now they're all beautiful. Eh? AC unit. We never had these in Montreal. Now when it's like five months out of the year, it's cold here, you know? Sadly enough. So we'll put that guy there. Finally, my newest acquisition. And this guy, you know, I paid more than all the other ones for it. It cost me a hundred bucks. I only got this because thanks to my friend Ben. Thanks again, buddy. He spotted this at an antiques flea market I go to to buy uh, mostly old magazines, some models. And the guy upstairs, he sells old models. He's a friend of mine at this point. He's an old Frenchman. And um, 
you know, my friend Ben saw this. He says he's selling this. He's like 100 bucks. I'm like, what? So I went there the next weekend. And at the same time, what's really odd is that there was one of these is Tor TTC Toronto Transit Commission new look on eBay, and it sold for $337. How do you like that? What a beauty. And look at that. And what's really cool about this bus, and one of the things that makes them rare, actually, is that they have ad. They have... Wait a minute. Both foot? Yeah, they have an ad on both sides, which none of my other buses have. So let me show you that, actually. Isn't that neat? What's this ad for again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's a TTC ad, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Good old 6B71. And then another bus I have here I bought from my friend Michelle, who I was just mentioning, is the beautiful classic V8 powered Santa Cruiser. Ah, the Sunny Cruiser, the prelude to the new look. Huh? Look at this beautiful thing. And I didn't, I didn't pay this one cheap either. I had to pay 150 bucks for this thing, which actually online, and I imagine in reality, is this pretty much the same price anywhere. So, and what's really cool about this one, though, is that it has the Montreal destination sign. See? Anyway. I love them. All right, moving along. Another model I bought last year. Here's an old look. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Los Angeles Motor Coach Company. Yeah, lovely model. Bought this one on eBay. Yeah, fair price, I guess, 80 bucks. You know, shipping, I don't remember how much it was. I don't think it was bad, actually. I mean, as you know, if you buy anything on eBay, some people charge these exorbitant amounts for, for shipping. It's fucking ridiculous, really. Yeah, it's a beautiful bus. Look at that. I was almost tempted to make a Montreal bus out of this because we had GM old looks. The, the roof part with the windows is already silver, as they were here, so I just have to repaint this brown. Wheels, too. You know? Of course, I'd have to do something about the destination sign that would... Uh, as a matter of fact, come to think of it, the only problem is these don't come out easily. See, they're not. Let me see here. Yeah, they're uh, they're not screwed in. They look like rivets. See. So, anyway. All right, we're almost finished here. Moving it along. Oh, here's a vintage one. This one's older than the rest. This one's from about '79. Here's another V8 powered coach. Yeah, this is a 79 diecast. Uh, who makes this again? I bought this last summer. Oh yeah, it's a Buddy L. See? And I got this for uh, pretty much a price of what it's worth, 20 bucks. Still a nice bus though. It's short, but whatever. It's a fucking toy for crying out Yeah, neat. Yeah, they're common. You could buy these easily on eBay. There's a lot of them around. Must have made a fucking million of these. All right, almost finished here. Oh, oh boy. Okay. And then we have a. This is a. Uh, this is a little little model. This is like, uh, you know, like a Bush uh, Corgi for like railroads. This is a 187 scale, I think. 
Hang on, I gotta start the camera again. Here yeah. we go. See my camera. I don't know why they programmed it to stop recording after ten, after ten minutes because I don't know. It must start overheating or something. But look, this is a beautiful little model. Bought this, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. Twenty bucks. It's just a neat little model. It's more plastic than anything, but still, it's a neat model. 1940s GM coach. You know, trailways. Back in the day when Trailways and the Greyhound were in heavy competition, I imagine. And finally, uh, non-transit related. <laughs> 366 V8 gas. These usually were in back in the day when they were being made. This model is weird. I bought this fucking thing. It came all the way from Chile, and it even came with a magazine uh, about you know school buses, about this model. It's all written in Spanish, and um, it's too bad that when I got it, the the other mirror here, the rear, the other rear view mirror that was right here was already broken. I glued it back on, but it's so fucking thin and light plastic, it broke off again. I don't even know where it is, but whatever. I love this model. Uh, it's fantastic. Um, the only thing also I did to it was that I painted inside of the grill here because this is all yellow and I thought it was really lacking. Anyway, you can see it's uh they don't have the bluebird copyright obviously because if they did they'd have the bluebird symbol. But it's still really cool. It's definitely a bluebird. Really nice. Um scale mm, about 164. You know. And uh I think I'll finish with uh, doing uh, what I remember when I used to take these as a kid in the kindergarten, hey, we're fucking going back like what, 19, uh, <laughs> 1981, uh, and you know they went like, you know they went like something like this, eh? Good times. Eh? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, it was my pleasure showing you guys this. You know, it's a, it's a lot of fun. You know, and and you know, I, the other day I I went to this hobby shop. I'm gonna give them a plug because it's really an amazing hobby shop, and it's the biggest probably for sure in Quebec. It's called Udisco, and uh, uh, you know they don't have many bus models, but you can't find many bus models anywhere. And, and, you know, they're like, they told us that, uh, you know, everybody that comes in here, they don't, they want muscle cars or they want trucks or whatever. They don't, they don't want bus models or, or they come in there for trains. But I told them, I'm like, man, you know, like, I would love it if a company made a plastic kit or, or, or a bigger die cast than any of these, especially of a transit bus. You know, there's a market out there. There's a lot of us bus, bus enthusiasts out there. They just don't know it, you know, so I don't know, I might have to. I don't know, write an email letter to AMT or Ravel or one of these companies and come on, man, make a new look. Make a fucking 118 diecast new look. Imagine how cool that would be. Or at least, sorry, 124. That would be amazing. Anyway, you guys take it easy, yeah? It was my pleasure showing you my shit. Bye.